Hello, we are in Sweden and we are going to do some testing with Morten. Pretty cold, huh? Day one, the goal was to see how well I absorb uh, the Morton drink mix, the 320 mix. Um, so I did three hours at 280 watts on the turbo and then followed up by a 45 minute uh, run where we built intensity. Now let's get dressed and uh, start as soon as possible perhaps. Yep. And see how it responds. Yep. I think we should have a, a, a few minutes before. Yeah. So he, um, he reached uh, the right correct heart rate, 145. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we take the first breath sample and the, uh, the drink, first drink. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. 50 watts. What's the uh, thinking behind 145? Because you race, you race your averages between 100 and 145 to 15, uh, 145 to 153. Okay. That's why. And because you're not fit, I think the lower end would be better to hold. You're not fit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, large. Large? I think. Yeah, yeah. But I think medium is probably fine. It's just we, have a, we have a larger home. Okay. Yeah. Not disturbing. No. Three hours with this. Nice. Yeah. So I told Richard, so five minutes every 20 minutes. You use the mask. Okay. Because yeah. at the moment I, I, I have to do like 50 watts. I can't do the. What do you want to cut 320? Yes. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, 200 me. So I think we're going to do three hours on here and then maybe some money. I don't know. I just do what I'm told. I don't know the exact science behind it, but basically they put isotopes in, in, the, um, in the bottles and they prepare a mixture and we wanted to see if when I took 120 grams an hour, um, if I would absorb all 120 grams. Um, because most of the time we don't end calculating how much I do actually absorb. So that was the goal and I think every 20 minutes I was taking uh, whatever, like three quarters of the bottle or half the bottle they, they prepared for me. Left the VO2 is yeah, the oxygen uptake in litres. So when he, he, he arrived at 275 watts, this is more or less consuming 3.5 litres per minute. Yeah. And you can convert that to energy expenditure because we are consuming the oxygen to generate energy. And that co uh, conversion is like a factor of five. So 3.5 liters per minute times five, and that's 17.5 calories per minute. And then since we have uh, all these machines equipped with uh, carbon dioxide sensors, <laughs> we are actually a byproduct. It's water and carbon dioxide from the metabolism. And from the breath, we can measure the carbon dioxide. And from that, the ratio between carbon dioxide production and oxygen consumption, we can actually uh, estimate how much that is coming from fat versus carbs <laughs> because of that ratio. So at higher intensity, we have a greater production of carbon dioxide. Yeah. Yes, so the ratio becomes one to one. And the, the RER value is this ratio, and then the RER closer to 0.7 would suggest a 100% fat oxidation. So for example, during a, a keto diet or a yeah, yeah, yeah. very low carb restricted diet, Sam would easily, just within a few days, have, have values. Now I would say in between 0.7 and 0.8 yeah, in this RER. But on a high carbohydrate diet, this is more, much more representative. And an RER value of 0.85 would suggest a 50-50 split between carbs and fat. Mm. So these uh, thousand calories 
500 comes from uh, carbs and 500 is from But fat. here it's... Uh, yeah. So now it's a little bit more carb uh, dominant. But not much, not yeah. extreme. No. But this is this is <laughs> no, this is intensity dependent as well. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So he should burn, she should not be uh, burning, wasting too much carbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That's the uh, purpose because that's a limiting factor for you. Yeah. But depends also on the on the form, like on how oh, trained you are, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that will always change. Yeah. Cheers. That was exciting. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Uh, How long do you need? Ten minutes? Or whatever. I can be ready in one minute if you want me to. Oh. Ten minutes. It's like you don't really take three minutes. How did you get it in here for you? What is this? It was me here all along. Uh, <laughs> and M&M's is in there. Tired. Low motivation. Considering the lack of training, I was pretty happy with myself that I did three hours at 280 pots and only at like 135 heart rate. Um, but then when I got off, I really didn't feel like running. And especially when I'm in off season, running is is the the discipline where I really struggle. Um, so then, yeah, we built up slowly, but I was already really I was already really tired. Good. Well, I'm not ready now. Pretty shit. No, so my, no each ah, right. the, the results of the levels uh, aren't as high as where the sugar put. That's not, that's not what we're testing. But uh, if, if we're trying no, to go, no. I can go to a 190 highway, huh? we want to go higher. No, 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 no. That's not the uh, purpose here. This is fine. Actually, so this is a. Uh, yeah, I think uh, most of the R&D team and they will have good with the go up for Ryan, but it's... Would it be possible to like develop a, a bottle that where like the gel comes out of the bottle? And not yeah, we have, we, we have something, I do, we don't have it here I think, but we have the same like this, but with another mouthpiece, yeah. with a wider mouthpiece. Yeah. And then you, it has like 150 mil, I think, so you can fit in five gels. Very good. And then you can kind of take that on the bike, for example. Yeah, yeah. and squeeze out more gel. Yeah, that, that would be great. We get them most likely somewhere around February. Okay. And then I can. Uh, this is my room. Uh, Where do you sleep? Uh, I sleep here, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we get a lot of these uh, specialized bottles during the years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which has been new. It's been fun. Very cool. Uh, I don't know how many employees we have actually, uh, but I think it was like 78 now or something with the recruitments. And, so yeah. next year and people who work here, how many? Very hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> like 40? 70% of that, probably. No, not that many. I think it will be in the office maybe 50 maximum, okay. 40. Um, mostly we have German team for and then a number. A lot, and a lot of people coming in and out, like you know, the whole creative team, like Ross and people in the US. And yeah. Yeah. Here every Ooh. now and then, yeah. And then we shot we shot some content for for future posts and for for their own channels, etc. Just punch it down, and we'll we'll just take it from there. Yeah, kind of so kind of like that. Um, just say your name, Sam Leto. Can I keep speaking? My name is Sam Leto. I am a for sexy pole dancer.
then that evening we went for a nice meal, uh, Italian restaurant with everyone. Not that we filmed that because we were just drinking alcohol and eating pizza. I built uh, just a small Airbnb. So, yeah. <rire> Les t-shirts, tu peux les plier en, en quatre ou genre, et les mettre dans la, dans la, dans la, dans la partie droite de, de ma valise, ça serait bien. Second day, we did a, a build. Uh, a build like session on the bike, um, increasing the power every five minutes. And before I taken the the uh, Morton bicarb solution, um, and we were the goal was to see how my blood pH was responding, uh, and to try and keep the blood pH low. What we will do now is take the baseline blood sample. Yeah. We will measure blood pH and blood uh, bicarbonate. Yeah. And when you take the bicarb, you will um, be elevated from normal range or normal resting levels. Yeah. So you increase your buffering capacity. Yeah. Normally, athletes reach their peak after two, two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. So during this time, Sam, uh, it's an absorption phase. Yeah. So we do nothing. So I will chase you every 45 minutes in the beginning, up to 90 minutes, then we take a two hour marker, two and a half hour marker, yeah. and then you start a warm up. Yeah. If you want to do something on the bike, start your warm up. Here we did his, um, this was post warm up, mid, um, into, into, finish. Here are the lactates, and here is a after cool down. Yeah. So here you see a, a big jump or rebound effect yeah, yeah. in the acid base balance. Yeah. How much do you sell my air for on eBay? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a commercial guy. <laughs> I removed a little bit. Thank you. All the weight is uh, 76. So the bicarb 15 corresponds to 0.19. And that's a qu quite of a acute dose. Yeah. Whereas today you take the uh, medium dose or uh, 19 gram, 0.25, which is in the middle of the scientific recommendation. The large dose would be, uh, yeah, in the in the upper range or upper interval. This is this is nothing that is um, established or published in the scientific literature. So this is uh, explorative work. And this differs more than to many other companies and scientists and so on. They only, yeah, think about the science. Yeah. And we are thinking outside yeah. the box. Yeah. We need to be ahead of the curve and explore. Good. In that, this is 70 microliters. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, required oh, 15 of these for one milliliter. There's nothing. Really? Is that the next thing you in mind? No, that's the one you always want. Just <laughs> <laughs> like the long <laughs> And uh, yeah, this is a good thing. Normally, I never take the index finger. I don't know how you have been trained. I normally start with the index finger. Yeah. 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 And the reason for that, because uh, I mean, you use it a lot. Yeah, I mean, it can be contaminated and so on. You use yeah. that a lot, and uh, and also you use it in your daily life. So I always use the ring finger or the the fuck off finger. <laughs> How do, you, how do you say like uh, you dirty asshole in 
in Sweden. <laughs> Tobias. <laughs> ja, men... Vi är så snabba att säga att det är så kind. Ditt smutsiga rövhål. <laughs> <laughs> Okej. Okay. Glukos. Blood lactate. Nothing special. Numbers after the uh, after 360 watts. So, yeah. so can I be world champion? Of course. Thanks, Thanks for believing in me. But maybe not in uh, tra you, track cycling or. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe can you can just tell the camera that uh, I'm going to win six more world championships. Of course you will. Following the results. <laughs> <laughs> You look straight to camera. You say, following these results, we've concluded that Sam Layla is going to win six more world championships. And then the video just ends. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow follow the results after this, and we we'll win another, another, and another, another, <laughs> another one, another one, another one. Then we finished on a ping pong tournament with Tobias and, and the team. Um, and unfortunately, uh, we decided to not put this. We didn't want to to ashamed and to degrade the image of the Morton employees, but actually we smashed them at ping pong over and over again for like four hours straight. Um, so yeah, we won't put it in the vlog um, just to buy out of respect for for the Morton employees, but um, yeah. So it's the end of the Morton trip. Um, we've done some geeky stuff, we've done some uh, creative artistic stuff, uh, portraits and all that. And it was just great to meet them, I guess, for the first time in person here in Sweden. And um, yeah, back home, back to some training. And um, yeah, first of all, I think I need to find my girlfriend uh, a present from Sweden. So yeah, if you have any ideas, drop it in the comment, subscribe.